Our son Luke, uh, when he was six, uh, we noticed that he was really demonstrating some great difficulties in uh, reading and uh, showing some other signs of learning disabilities. Uh, it started to even manifest itself to the point where uh, his self-esteem was really going down. He knew that he was having uh, troubles in school. He knew he was behind the other students. Uh, he felt and we felt that he certainly had a great uh, IQ potential, but it was locked inside and, and the, the difficulties uh, with reading and uh, his other uh, problems were just holding him back. And so we were becoming desperate uh, at that point. He exhibited, you know, all the signs of classic dyslexia. Uh, he literally would reverse all of the letters possible. He would see it one way, his, his little eyes, and then would see it the other way, and he would be so frustrated when he would try to put a series of letters together to spell a word. Uh, it, it took so much brain power for him to do that, that he would be exhausted in a very short period of time. Because uh, he knew what he wanted to put together with these letters and make a word and be able to read it and see it. Uh, but, it but the decoding in his brain and the encoding in his brain just weren't working properly. Um, so what would happen, it would, it just the amount of intense uh, effort that he had to make would literally wear him out in a very short period of time. Luke was becoming extremely frustrated. Uh, the academic scores were literally uh, failing grades across the board. Um, so he knew no matter how much effort he was putting in, he was not going to live up to the standards that the school system was expecting of him great frustration for not only himself, but uh, his other two siblings in our family uh, because we were devoting so much time trying to help Luke at home uh, and for both uh, myself and his mom. It was, uh, it was rough. We heard about the Morris Center uh, by word of mouth, someone who had uh, was in the educational field and had seen results from another student and uh, came to us and said, you know, this, this is uh, what Dr. Tim is doing and the Morris Center is something that's really cutting edge. Uh, there's nothing else like it most likely in the country and uh, you should go see them and see if this could be a potential fit for a, a great help for Luke. When we first met Dr. Tim Conway and spoke with him uh, about Luke's situation and he explained why the technology was based upon uh, so many years of research and really was ahead of any form of traditional education. Um, we were skeptical and one of the reasons I personally was skeptical, uh, I, I have a background experience in the special education field, having worked with a leading government research project, the BKR project, that was based on uh, developing new uh, detection techniques for learning disabilities in young children. Uh, and, and so my skepticism uh, is not to be underrated. When I heard what Dr. Tim described as we're basically going to be creating new neural pathways in your child um, during the course of only four months where we're going to plug in uh, in a new way uh, neural pathways that should have been plugged in at a much earlier age and, and, were, and were missed for a variety of reasons. It could have been uh, brain damage, uh, you know, just uh, non-functioning uh, patterns in the brain. Um, this was uh, hard, to, hard to digest at first, you know, to think that this could really happen. 
Um, but in fact, that's exactly what they did. The changes that we saw in Luke once he started the program were subtle at first. Uh, there wasn't uh, any kind of overnight magic that happened, uh, but we, we started seeing first the confidence level. He started knowing that he was being helped, which was miraculous. Uh, and, and then he, with the confidence, uh, he started settling down in his academics where he could focus uh, and, and certainly started seeing results himself. Luke's school life now is such a complete change. It's, uh, we just call it a miracle. Um, first of all, on the academic level, he is a straight A student. We got his first report card back and it's all A's and A pluses, which is incredible. Uh, the turnaround is just, just incredible. Um, his confidence level, uh, when he started bringing home these papers that were A's and A pluses, uh, we'd say, gee, Luke, you got an A. We started making a big thing of it in the beginning. After a while, he just said, mom or dad, I always get an A. It's just becoming a way of life. Uh, so uh, the ball is rolling, the confidence level is getting better, uh, his skills are getting better, he's excelling, and uh, we see this as uh, gonna be continuing to excel as time goes on. I've had some talks with people who are considering alternatives because whether you're in public school uh, or have a child in private school, uh, the same frustration levels come up. Their traditional educators have no tools to fix these problems with these children. Uh, not only do they not have the tools, they don't have the capability uh, because they're in large classrooms, for example, or, or a, a variety of other circumstances. This is a, 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 the possibility where you can take your child out of an environment that's causing him frustration, that's not doing the things that he needs, and put him into an environment where they can quickly correct this before it, it becomes a, a snowballing effect. And, there, and now you have, you know, you've waited, which you should never wait, waited and, and now you have behavioral problems that are just a result of what the child is having to experience on the uh, academic side. Now our child is seven years old and to have had such a mature grasp of what has happened. Uh, there are times when we're casually speaking and Luke will say, the Morris Center fixed me. You know, completely fixed me, Dad. And, you know, because I'll, I'll ask him, how can you read this like this? How can you do these math problems? And he just says, like it's matter of fact, uh, the Morris Center fixed me. And, and that's the end of the story. He's got, he's got that resolved in his, in his mind, and, and that's it.